in this module we shall continue with our discussion on risk management in islam in the previous module we highlighted that the risk can be dealt with by way of avoiding it by taking some measures to minimize its incidence and of course by sharing it in this module we shall use another specific example of risk management by way of a prohibition and i mean by this prohibition of trading in options broadly speaking there are two types of options put and call and those of you who have taken courses on finance you would be aware of the differences between the two and of course their definitions when someone buys a put put option they buy the option to sell in future when someone sells a put they buy an option to buy in future in case of an american put or call option the option holder can strike any time between the execution date and the expiration date this is the american option concept in case of a european option the option holder can strike only at the expiration date so this is an important difference between the american practice and the european practice the options are bought by way of paying a price so there is a price to buy an option it is called premium which is only a fraction of the actual price of the asset obviously islam prohibits trading in options because they are akin to gambling now before i go to the next slide i must explain why there is prohibition of buying option there are certain things which do not have a value in the eyes of islamic law if this table has a value of course you can buy and sell it certain rights they cannot be bought and sold option is actually a right to buy or sell nothing more than that so this right cannot be bought and sold on its own like haq e shufa aapne suna hoga aapne nahi suna to apne parents se puch le haq e shufa ye hota hai ki agar aapka hamsaya apna ghar bechna chahta ho aur wo kisi aur ke sath deal kar raha ho then you have a right to preempt this sale it's called preemption right islam does recognize haq e shufa or preemption right however islam doesn't allow the neighbor you to actually sell this right to someone else or even to the owner of the neighboring house ye nahi aap keh sakte jab aapne haq e shufa kar liya to wo aapka bechara hamsaya ye keh sakta hai ke phir aap khareed le ye jo qeemat ye buyer dena chah raha hai aap de de aap ke ji hum khareedna to nahi chahte लेकिन आप हमें पैसे दे दें ताकि हम हक शुफा का इस्तेमाल ना करें इस्लाम इस चीज की ममानत करता है तो देर आर राइट विच कैन नॉट बी बॉट एंड सोल्ड सिमिलरली दिस राइट टू बाय और सेल इन फ्यूचर दिस कैन नॉट बी बॉट एंड सोल्ड इन एन इस्लामिक इकोनॉमिक स्लैश लीगल फ्रेमवर्क लेट अस लुक एट एन इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल देर इज एन ऑप्शन सेलर this one and there is an option buyer option buyer actually buys an option on apple stock apple stock is a stock which is listed on new york stock exchange so this option allows the option buyer to strike on a future date t30 say today 
the price of apple stock is uh, 150 aaj kal apple stock ki isi ke around price chal rahi hai 149 148 and so on and the option buyer actually pays 5 dollars to buy this option to uh, on uh, a strike price of 150 ab agar future mein aaj se 30 din ke andar andar if the market price of apple stock moves like this in such a way that on t30 ie after 30 days the price of uh, apple stock is actually 165 and this call buyer call to buy call buyer has actually negotiated this strike price 150 dollars so at t30 the market price of apple stock is 165 but because this call buyer has bought or had bought the option for five dollars it would strike and would buy the stock for 150 dollars in this case the difference between the market price and the strike price is 15 15 dollars so 15 dollars minus 5 dollars of premium the call buyer would be benefiting by way of earning 10 dollars from this option if on the other hand side the apple stock had moved this way in such a way that the price of apple stock on t30 was 65 dollars in that case the difference between the strike price and the actual market price on t30 would be 85 dollars of course the call buyer would not be interested in striking because striking would mean that the call buyer would be buying something for a lot more than what is the actual market worth of the stock at that point in time so in this case the call buyer would be losing five dollars sharia scholars they take a view that this is actually quite close to gambling so I pay five dollars and a stochastic process you know throwing a dice this is a stochastic process tossing a coin this is a stochastic process the movement of prices in the stock market this is a stochastic process so when I buy something in such a way that a stochastic process which is beyond my control would or could benefit me that is actually called gambling is a juana kahen to kya kahen 